Okay, so here we are, June 3rd, 2020. And this is what we're dealing with right now. Major riots, uh, people being severely hurt and even killed, um, police officers having to pretty much fear for their lives. The military's been rolled out in the U.S. and I don't, you know, I don't know where else. But guys, I'm going to tell you this. All of this that we're seeing, everything, I personally believe it was orchestrated. Okay, now was someone killed? What was was uh, George uh, Floyd killed? I, I think I'm saying his name right. Um, I, I, I mean, from everything that we know, very likely. But guys, I'm going to tell you, with the way this, you know, secret group works, it's very possible. All of that was created just so we would fight each other. Okay? There's so much theater going on, on a daily basis, guys. On a daily basis. That it, it's, it makes no sense. I mean, it is so obvious in some points that I personally cannot understand how people fall for this stuff. It's so blatantly obvious. But, hey, it, it is what it is. You know, when you have a bunch of people out of work over this, um, you know, disease that supposedly has decimated, uh, you know, tens of thousands of people, I mean, hey, um, and mostly have destroyed jobs, have destroyed people's way of making uh, a living. Uh, I mean, it just is, it's absolutely crazy. The U.S., yeah, we got a bit of a stimulus, all right? Uh, some people who were out of work did get a chance to uh, take advantage of the unemployment the, and the extra money that was allowed in that. Um, but all in all, that didn't happen across all over the world. And the whole world shut down. Guys, the whole world shut down over something that at the very least was overhyped okay at the very least i don't want to go into other stuff but at the very least it was way overhyped okay now as we see these numbers are falling things like that um look i'm just going to go into this yes things are very bad right now we'll likely see even more craziness happen very likely okay it it I mean, at this point, I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised at anything that happens. I mean, even a year ago, I would never. If somebody had told me that the entire world would shut down for, you know, months, I would never have believed them. This is the whole world has shut down. Okay? That tells you how big whatever it is they're trying to hide how big it is because I believe this was all just a distraction just a distraction and you know dare I say even kind of a test just to see where people were all right that's what I believe you know I I, I can't speak with any serious authority here but that's what I believe now, will things return to what we call normal? All right. My opinion, no. It, it won't return to what we saw before uh, the world shut down. It, it won't be that way. Now, will, will it be worse? I don't believe so. I don't believe it will necessarily be better. It's just going to be different. And very, very different. It will be. I'm sorry if this mic is, uh, if I'm talking loud, this headset just, it's, it's a little wonky. But anyway, um, what I what I think is, is happening right now, guys, we're going through a shift, okay? We're uh, going to come out on the other side of this looking at a, a pretty different world. That's, that's what I'm thinking. 
I can see some things happening in the background, the things that are not being talked about. Uh, a, there's there's a lot happening in the background, guys, and it it's not necessarily um, um, you know death and destruction. It's not that martial law is being implemented everywhere and you know all of that stuff. No, I I don't believe that uh, because first of all. We've been under martial law for some time. Uh, I, I mean, I would honestly, in the U.S., I believe it's been since at least 9/11. Uh, well, maybe somewhere around there. It's been a very soft form of martial law, but um, martial law nonetheless. All right. So, what's what else is going on? Well, guys, your new world is being prepared. Your new financial system. And we already know that, being that we're involved with crypto. And speaking of crypto, the prices have, you know, had kind of risen there. We had a little bit of a, a spike, but it has <laughs> come back down. Uh, guys, the market is manipulated. Don't try to figure it out now. It's not, in my opinion, it's not going anywhere uh, for some time, for at least at least several months. Okay, it's not going anywhere. Uh, if we have a bull run, I would be highly shocked, uh, even before the election. Okay, so uh, that's why, personally, I just kind of step back from crypto. Um, the people with the money are controlling it right now. It's and it's they're they're keeping it within their control. They're not going to let it get too far out of hand. So just you know, keep your eyes on it. But all in all, there's not a whole lot you can do. All right, so what else is going on? Well, technology is absolutely booming in the background. There are things that are being that that are uh, being worked on and will be introduced very soon that will blow your mind. And I'll, I'm just going to kind of lightly touch on one thing: something called Neuralink, created by uh, Elon Musk. It's one of Elon Musk's companies. And what he plans on doing is absolutely mind-shattering. Now, again, I know it's hard to see what, you know, how we'll transition into something like this. And and honestly, the 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 uh, the um, and I don't want to say quality of life, but your life will be your lives will be so different. Uh, dealing with this and i'm not saying it's good or bad uh, you know they're talking about implanting uh, you know chips or you know whatever into people's heads uh, not rfid chips we can just forget about that rfid chip an rfid chip is not a benefit to you all right it's not a benefit to you at all it's it's the equivalent equivalent of putting a uh, a, a credit card under your skin okay do you want a credit card under your skin? Do you need a credit card under your skin? No. I mean, seriously. So you can pay for something quicker? What's quicker than a free? What's quicker than your phone? I mean, why would you want? It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I, I've kind of dismissed that. I think that was just low-hanging fruit. They've been talking about this, uh, or rather, the RFID technology was first developed. I think it was in the 40s. Okay. It was in the 80s when it was first being used as a way to track pets, um, and it's moved on. Guys, technology is way, way beyond that. The the, the things that are being uh, considered now are just, uh, like I said, it's mind-shattering. If you get a chance, take a look at the interview between, oh, well, that uh, Joe Rogan did with uh, Elon Musk. He had him. He had Elon Musk on his show. You have to listen to what he's saying. Okay, there are a couple other people who have uh, said some things about Neuralink and what they're what they're planning on doing. Again, guys, this is I mean off the board completely. Um, if you get a chance, just type in Neuralink. Go to the site. You, it'll you can if you click on uh, read the paper, it'll take you here, or you can listen to uh, Elon's video. But Either way, this is just absolutely just crazy stuff that um, we're headed into. And uh, honestly, I find it extremely amazing. Uh, I mean, to, to be able to come from, 
what we're seeing right now. And, and guys, this is how it works. You cannot have a shift without something like this happen, happening, right? It has, these things have to happen for whatever, for whatever reason. I, I'm not quite sure. Uh, there is no peaceful transition into a, a shift in consciousness or it, and, and I'm not, you know, what? I don't even want to say consciousness. That is not at all what I meant. I'm sorry. Just a shift in the way life is going to be lived. Okay. Because I, I personally don't think that we're headed for, you know, some, uh, um, you know, consciousness shift that is going to make people uh, just benevolent. I mean, people are going to be people no matter what. Uh, and all the rule, rules apply, okay? Evil people are going to be evil. Good people are going to be good, all right? And, you know, everything in between. So, um, why we have to have these types of things, like I said, I am not quite sure. I mean, I can, you know, think of a couple things, but uh, it just... It, you know, honestly, there's didn't seem to me that there's a good reason for it. But either way, um, it's happening, guys. Uh, and like I said, on the other side of this, it's going to be a very different world. Uh, in my opinion, again, my opinion, I don't have any inside information. Uh, it's, well, no, I don't have any inside information as far as anyone telling me what's being planned and worked towards as far as, you know, the powers that be, uh, just some things that I have come to myself that I kind of feel it pretty obvious, um, but this also ties into the things that I believe and uh, what I research, all right, so I won't get into that, um, and uh, you know, uh, anyway, I'm not going to get into it, um, so that being said, um, that, that's really it guys. I'm sorry. I have not been making any videos. I just have not felt like it. Um, I, I've, I've wanted to talk about crypto, but I kind of feel like with everything that's going on, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, who cares about crypto when the world is literally on fire? Okay. Uh, if we don't, if we don't do the right things here, Crypto won't matter, but I can tell you now, we're going to make it into whatever is headed for us. Um, it, it's just going to be different. Make sure you take care of yourselves out there. You know, take care of your families. Make good decisions. That's that's very important. Um, if you feel as though you must get out and be a part of these things, do it safely. Don't, you know, <laughs> don't, just don't get yourselves hurt out there that, that's really the main thing um but again we're going to make it to the to the other side it's going to look very different um and some amazing some other amazing things we're going to see but it all comes with a cost okay um i won't get into that right now uh, i want to kind of shift my channel into more um uh, things like this i mean i, I kind of think uh, just talking about crypto is, is a pretty shallow endeavor, uh, and I'm I'm a lot more uh, involved, uh, and you know, li honestly, I, I'm just I'm way more in tune than just talking about crypto. So, and I'm sure you guys have gotten that idea or gotten that sense uh, from my videos. But anyway, I don't want to sit here and ramb ramble on. Guys, thank you for joining me. Um, I do plan on putting out more content and probably more frequently now. I'm just going to kind of ease into it. But uh, if you haven't already done so, just take a second to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and the post notification button, and come back and see me. Until next time, this has been your man, Mr. Frequenter. Take care of yourselves. And God bless.